Wolf Messing was a man who allegedly held strong psychic powers and abilities. So strong that it caught the attention of Joseph Stalin, who later challenged Messing to rob a bank using only his mind. Find out if he was successful when this paranormal TV truth be told story of Wolf Messing concludes. Convinced he was looking at a certified withdrawal form, the teller walked to the safe to retrieve the money as a stunned KGB observer watched. The teller returned with bundles of currency and began handing them over to Messing, totally unknowing that his will was completely under Messing's control. When the money was safely inside, Messing thanked the teller, shut the case, and calmly walked out of the bank. That was test number one, which he passed. And later, apparently, the teller had a heart attack and Messing felt terrible, but the teller lived. Stalin arranged another test. Messing was to slip past the highly trained soldiers surrounding Stalin's private bunker and drop in on the Soviet leader unannounced. A short while after this challenge was issued, something remarkable occurred. A civilian man with no pass or pretext made his way onto the grounds of Stalin's bunker. Walking past the first ring of guards, he proceeded towards the building and casually walked inside. The guards did not challenge him. In fact, they stood at a respectful distance as he passed. As he made his way through the corridors, the staff offered no resistance. He made it all the way to the inner part of Stalin's sanctum, where even the servants were veteran secret police officers. Stalin looked up to see the man standing in front of him. Wolf Messing. Stalin wanted to know how it was done. Messing explained that he projected one simple thought into the minds of Stalin's guards and staff. I am Beria, the notorious head of the secret police, who none of the guards would ever attempt to stop. He had passed Stalin's test. Stalin was very much interested in, in Wolf Messing's abilities to harness him as a way to control, to find out how he controlled more people, and perhaps to use Wolf Messing to find out what Stalin's uh, henchmen were really thinking or plotting against him. Did Wolf Messing go on to serve Joseph Stalin as a psychic spy? Stalin tested Wolf Messing to many ways. You need to understand, most of this information is still classified and locked away in Soviet archives. What we know for certain is that in 1967, Wolf Messing arranged to publish a full account of his life's work. But following an announcement of its publication, the manuscript was quietly buried. <laughs> <laughs>